All right, joining us now is Jennifer Thalastinos is with us, and she lost her husband, Nicholas, in this tragedy, this terror uh, committed out in San Bernardino. And we spoke with their pastor on the program last week. I can't imagine the pain that she's going through, and she's taking the time to be with us today to, to tell us a little bit about what she knows about the incident and, of course, losing her husband. Uh, they got married, what, just right after 9-11, as I understand it. And uh, anyway, Jennifer, my heart and my prayers go out to you and your family. I can't imagine the pain uh, that you're going through, and uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much, Mr. Hannity. Yeah. Now, it's imagined um, by many that your husband, Nicholas, was battling with Syed Farouk. I guess it was on one of the social sites. Isn't that true? Um, that isn't exactly true. Um, there were other, um, there was somebody that was arguing with my husband on Facebook and uh, now I'm not sure if it's somebody that was in contact with the shooter or if it could have been him himself under an assumed name, but there had been um, some arguments going back and forth. But any time my husband spoke out against ISIS and radical Islam, um, a lot of times people would come on and say stuff or they would figure out a way to get him blocked off of Facebook for like 30 days. Yeah, I, uh, I've had to deal with the exact same uh, issues on my social media accounts, too. So your your husband, it is believed, was the one that may have argued with Syed at this Christmas party. Do you know anything about that now? I really don't know details because um, I haven't really spoken to anybody that was right there and actually probably the people that were right by where it happened. Um, are the ones that are no longer with us. Um, but I do know that they had had a heated discussion a couple weeks prior. My friend Colleen happened to call Nick at work at the same time that this discussion was going on. But my husband was very um, cordial about this type of thing. He would just give his opinion and why he felt that way. But he wasn't going to, you know, get into some knockdown drag out fight with somebody over whatever it might be. So and you you think I, so you think that your so your husband did argue about the issue of radical Islam with Syed Farouk. Yes, as far as I know, and I know that they had argued over Israel. And this and is and, my husband. Yeah, and did he say to your husband? that he would never see Israel in his lifetime again? Um, that wasn't him. That was whoever was on Facebook is the one that said that, mm -hmm. because he got a death threat the day before this happened. That's why I think that either the person that wrote this either knew the shooter and knew what he was going to do, or he was the shooter himself, because I know that... Um, the shooter's wife, well, she was a shooter, too, had an assumed name on Facebook also, so he probably did also. Have you told all of this to law enforcement? Um, I haven't had that opportunity to talk to them. They haven't come and questioned me or anything like that, and I know that they're sorting through so much information that I figure at I, some point they'll probably get back to me. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. It sounds a little odd to me that, that this conflict might have had some root in this battle and that the FBI or law enforcement hasn't reached out to you yet. We'll make sure they get a copy of this tape.